Hey guys, we know a lot of people are working from home this week, so we wanted to give you a few options for getting out of the chair and moving the body a little bit. So this first one we're gonna do is called an overhead reach. So we're standing nice and tall, feet flat, toddler or no toddler, egg or no egg. <laughs> um, hands go up in the air, just reaching up towards the ceiling, almost like you're climbing a ladder. Try to get a little bit more out of each reach. Uh, so we can do that for a minute. You can do a different movement at the top of the hour, or you can do all eight of these movements consecutively. It's totally up to you. Hey guys, for our next movement snack, I'm gonna show you Bruger's position. Um, so for this one, you're gonna reach your arms down by your sides. You're gonna spread your fingers as wide as you can. Reach your thumbs back and down behind you. Lifting your chest towards the ceiling and a long exhale with three short exhales. All right, about a minute, top of the hour. All right, number three, this one's called Shake It Off. Uh, this one's kind of a silly one. So you just imagine that you have water on your, on your arms. So you're just kind of shaking the water off. And the same thing with the legs, you can just kind of jiggle it around a little bit. That was a nice way to reduce some of the tension from sitting for too long. And for our next one, we're going to do a deep squat. So you've been sitting for a long time, pop up out of your chair, get down whatever way feels good. Generally, that's a nice wide stance. And you're going to get down there and just kind of wiggle around. There's trying of your knees if you like that. But for the most part, we're just kind of keeping it moving, exploring the bottom here. You can twist one way, twist the other way. Just hang out there for a few, bounce. And then pop back up and get right back to work. All right, guys. So the next one is a modified version of a cat cow. We, we're going to do this one in standing, but you could also get on the ground. You could also do it seated. It's totally up to you. So we're going to put hands on knees, and we're going to alternate rounding and arching the back. Look, I did it. If it looks like twerking, it's because it sort of is. So it'd be nice practice for when the club opens back up. Um, <laughs> that was so terrible. <laughs> Anything else to add? No, that's it. <laughs> hey guys, um, coming at you with our next uh, movement snack, which is going to be a standing hip extension. So you've been sitting on the couch maybe for a long time or at your desk for a long time. You're going to pop up, you're going to put your hands behind your hips at the small of your back here. And you're just going to use the pressure of your hands to push your hips forward out in front of you. This is not an ab drill. We're not like leaning back and crunching. It's just a nice relaxed bounce here through the low back. All right, pop up, try a couple of those, and I get back to work. All right, we're calling the next one a standing pigeon pose. Basically, you're gonna put your ankle, rest the ankle on the opposite knee, and we're gonna sit down to kind of a single leg squat-ish thing. You can hold on to something if you want. You might end up feeling a little kind of stretch on the outside of the hip. You could do reps on either side, or you can just kind of sit into one, if you're capable, <laughs> for, for a longer period of time. Uh, and that's it. All right, guys, for our last one, we've got a standing toe touch. Um, so pop up from your desk if you've been sitting for a while. And this is really easy. We're just going to bend forward as far as you can. You can let it hang, you can grab the elbows, you can heel toe your feet out and just kind of dangle down here and let it, let it just relax, let it go. Pop back up, hang, it up, hang down there for a few seconds and uh, get back to work. All right.